Hello, everyone, dear friends, all of us um, who are experiencing um, what's happening on, we might say, planet Earth. And I've come into this video today wanting to talk about a couple of important topics um, and how they're related. So, um, I'm preparing to teach another virtual course that will start later in April called, and I'll read you the title so it's, so I make sure I get it right, Your Soul's Evolution Through Past Lives, Embracing Life Purpose. So you might say, well, Linda, why now? Um, we're all dealing with sort of shelter in place lockdown, as am I. I'm in my home office here. Um, I accept to go out and take a walk in my neighborhood. I am basically not leaving my home and humanity is dealing with a huge crisis. But I think that's the point overall. And it's why I do what I do in my work life and in my personal life. So I want to talk to you about how might we evolve? What might we do with these challenges and how can we meet them? And what does it mean for uh, the neighbor next door, for you, for me, for your life pur purpose and your soul's evolution? So whether you choose to take the five week virtual course or not, I want to talk about topics that will be included in the course and topics that I think are so important to think about at this time. As souls, in my opinion, we're being asked to help each other as incarnated, incarnated souls on earth. We're being asked to help each other because um, whether you know anyone who is ill and infected with COVID-19, the coronavirus, or you don't, if each of us basically on the planet, this isn't just the United States, this isn't just Italy, this isn't just Spain um, or UK or wherever, if we protect ourselves, we're protecting others. Now, I wonder how often we think about that in our everyday life, okay? So this five week course is going to look at what is the soul? Why do we evolve? How do we evolve? What do we do with that today? What does that have to do? What is our life purpose overall? So I've been guiding soul regression for, oh, I don't know, 26 years or something like that. And my goal is to help people understand how to look at why they're here, what came before in past lives that might be showing up for you, fears, relationship issues, health challenges, and in particular, what about now? What about now and how we respect ourselves to, to take care of our own health in the best possible way we can? But what about taking, the, taking care of the health of anyone and everyone on the planet. And we're in a circumstance now where if we don't think about something other than ourselves, I'm not sure that we can keep from having many, many multitudes of people dying and or just simply dealing with a very difficult challenge. So in this course, I'm gonna be sharing what I've learned over 26 years about what is the soul how is it created? Where is it created? What is free will? How do we grow and evolve through past lives until now, through our karma, free will, choices we made in the past that we can change in life today, and dharma, soul accomplishments that we have already gained in past life, skills that show up in life today. And that's where our course is headed together. We're gonna to work in community. We're going to have conversation. I'll be guiding experiential topics. And I want you to be thinking about who are you? Why are you here now? What can you do to help yourself evolve, your neighbor evolve and humanity evolve? 
How do you bring your skills, your commitments? What's your purpose in life at this time? So I hope you'll join me. I'll be doing more of these short videos um, to tell you more about what I've learned from clients, from past life and soul regression. If you want to know more about the course that begins on April the 21st, remember it's all virtual, it's all recorded, you don't have to be there live, please go to ravenheartcenter.com, raven like the bird, heart like the heart in your chest, center, c-e-n-t-e-r.com to learn more about five weeks of working together as people and as souls. Thanks for listening. Please keep taking care of your own health. Wash your hands the way you've learned to wash your hands. And I look forward to being in touch with so many of you. Take good care. Bye for now.